Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for the collective. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and um, I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel. All those links are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Post. Um, I'm trying to get everybody into the energy of doing daily gratitude and positive affirmations. So if you feel called to do so, please post something that you're grateful for and a positive affirmation with a green heart. Okay. Um, if you're interested in my tarot and oracle decks, I do have spirit shield tarot and oracle that is buy one, get one free. Um, the link for that is below. And then I have Royal Rose Tarot, which is currently 20% off. This one is low in stock. I only have one or two left. Mystery crystal boxes are 20% off and video readings are 20% off. All that info is below, baby. Um, okay, so what am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for my YouTube family. My puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. Okay, so let's get popping here, guys. Let's go ahead and pull an angel number for you. Spirit, tell me about my viewers, please. Tell me about my viewers. What are... What is their angel number today? Okay, so we've got 1144. Okay, 1144, high vibes, divine intervention, prosperity, big ventures, faded events, faith, purpose, and higher calling. Love or other happiness lurks just around the corner. It will be something much better than in your wildest dreams. A rare opportunity and exciting encounter with like-minded people will exceed your expectations. Damn. All right, guys. So you got something real big coming towards you. God bless. Okay. Okay. Well, coming towards all of it all of us because i'm claiming that shit too all right a spirit tell me about my viewers please tell me about my viewers please what do my viewers need to know today please tell me about my viewers please okay so we've got marriage we've got narcissist and we've got meddler with no interest under the deck and ghosted hmm. Okay, so collective, I feel like you guys have a narcissistic energy here that may be coming around wanting marriage, but this is a narcissistic energy that likes to have people around them that antagonize or disrespect you. So this could be someone where not only are they narcissistic, guys, but this person also has friends, family members, or third-party energies that antagonize your connection. So I'm feeling here that you guys are absolutely not interested at all. Absolutely not interested at all. There was a point in time where you were very reckless here and you made careless decisions and trusted this person or forgave this person. But over and over again here, collective, I feel like you're realizing that this person is abusive, immature. They promise heaven, deliver hell. You're very observant here. Okay. You're very observant here. This is someone that may have a friend that is crushing on your person. And this narcissistic energy does that on purpose. It is very common for narcissists to keep multiple people around them because what they like to do is, you know, they love bomb you. And then when they want to switch up on you, okay, they go and get their fix somewhere else. Okay. So this is someone that has to consistently maintain multiple energies around them so that they, they could play leapfrog. Okay. This person will go from you to someone else. Okay. So you'll notice with this person, they're all about you and they've got people crushing on them on the side. Then when it's time to trauma bond you and pull back that energy, they go get their fix and entertain and love bomb someone else while you're sitting there begging and waiting for this person to come back and treat you like they did before. And I feel like you know that. You know that the people that this person keeps around them have has crushes on them. You know that these friends that this narcissist keeps around them would be very open to a sexual or or romantic relationship with this person. And I feel that 
guys, you could either be married to this person or this is someone that wants to marry you because you are their best uh, supply. Okay. It could be that you have, you know, this person has been able to shove more shit down your throat than anyone else's. Okay. Um, but I feel like you've broken free from this. Tell me about my viewers, please. Tell me about my view. Yeah, no, you've broken free from this. You are defending yourself, guarding yourself. No means no this time. You're sitting in a very healing energy, guys. Some of you could even be uh, seeing someone else right now. Um, I do feel collective that this person is going to do their best to get you back into an energy of being insecure and triggering you. What I think happened here, collective, is this person really thought that they had their hooks in you. This narcissist may have left you for a long period of time thinking that they they had you trauma bonded. They had you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually broken to the point that you would not ever move or leave them or walk away. But I feel that collective, this person uh, misjudged you because you're, if you're married to them, you're filing for a divorce or this is an ending. This is a final ending. I feel like you're stepping into your divine feminine energy here for some of you. For some of you, you could be seeing a third party, like a, a new person already, but you're healing. Okay. You're healing. And when you say no, you mean it. No means no here. Your boundaries are up and this, you're not going to allow this person to gaslight you. You're not allowing this person to trigger you. And it's driving them crazy because they're trying to push all your buttons to see what will work. Okay. Tell me about my viewers, please. We've got near future liar and spells. So again, collective in the very near future here, this is someone that is extremely two-faced. This is someone that one minute they're going to try to get you back with love, kindness, and sweetness. The next minute they're going to be like, well, fuck, you know, F you, I didn't want you anyway. You're, you're, you're ugly. You're this, you're that, you're fat, you're whatever. It's like this person there, they don't know how to act to get under your skin. Okay. For some of you, not all of you, this person may resort to witchcraft to try to get you back. If this is someone that's into the esoteric or the spiritual realm that may not resonate with all of you. Okay. This is someone that could be finding out collective that you're sitting in feminine energy and that you have found a divine masculine here. And this is someone that may get very spiteful, very bitter, very scorned. Okay very scorned. They may, they may accuse you of you wanting to stay separated from them because you cheated on them and you fell in love with someone else. They may try to uh, guilt trip you. Okay. They may try to guilt trip you into making you feel like you betrayed the connection. Yeah, this, this narcissist is going to regret it. This narcissist is going to regret what they did, but let me tell you something. They're not going to regret losing you because they love you. They're going to regret because maybe many of you helped this person financially. For those of you who helped this person on a financial note, or they took you or used you for materialistic things, that's what this person is going to miss the most. With options here and karmic, This could be a narcissist that's a karmic for you guys. This is someone that laughs because they have so many other options that they want to make you feel like your absence is not important, but it is because you did bring something to the table. You were their main supply source and you brought some type of materialistic or financial help to them, for, you know, to them. Okay. So they may laugh at you. They, yeah, you're tired of giving to this person. You are tired, exhausted. I feel like many of you collective jump through hoops and gave and gave and gave and gave trying to win this person's love and affection. 
trying to, you know, jump through hoops. Okay. And I feel like starting this spring collective, you are standing your ground here. You are a force to be reckoned with. Okay. You are a force to be reckoned with. And I feel that collective by this summer, you guys are going to be having some, there's a lot of sexual chemistry here between you and someone that you're crushing on. You could be sitting in feminine energy and meeting your true divine masculine this summer. And I'm telling you right now, this person is not going to be happy about that. They're going to try to guilt trip you into making you feel like you betrayed this connection. Okay. I feel that collective, this new person that you're meeting is going to help you to disconnect fully and completely from this narcissist. Okay. They're going to help you fully like come into yourself and make you realize your, you know, make you realize that this is a problem. Whatever you've been going through is a problem. I feel that collective many of you may not be totally and completely open and honest over what you've been through in your past relationship, which in many ways is a good thing. But I do feel like this new love coming into your life knows that something isn't right, that you've been through something, but they're not really sure what. Okay. They're not really sure what, um, I feel like while you're trying to focus on this new love, you will have this narcissist hot on your heels wanting to reconcile. Yeah. But I, I feel like this is a very selfish, egotistical, self-absorbed narcissistic energy. That's only wanting your forgiveness because some of you may have a good job. Some of you may have, you know, make money or you're independent in some way, shape or form. Okay. This is not someone that's trying to reconcile with you for the right reasons. I feel like collective, you're not really giving that much time and attention. I feel like you're about to fall deeply in love with a twin. So I feel like many of you are releasing a karmic situation and moving towards a twin flame. I feel like this narcissistic energy is going to be extremely insulted by this. Okay. Extremely insulted by this. This is someone that is going to come off with, you know what? I didn't want you anyway. You're horrible in bed. You're this, you're that. Do you understand? Um, I, I see, here's the thing. This is what a lot of people don't understand about narcissistic energies. They are just as addicted to abusing as the victim is to being abused. Okay. So this is, this is a narcissist that's going to say some really ugly shit to you. One minute, they're going to be really nice. The next minute, they're going to be really mean. Uh, this person is trying to trigger you and, and, and gain control back. You know, they're trying to gain control back over your emotions. Okay. And what they're trying to train you to do is to understand that they have the ability to make you feel like shit and they have the ability to make you feel happy. But the thing here is, is that I think the bad things that they're saying to you don't phase you. And when they're being sweet and kind to you, you don't really care. So this person has lost the ability to move your emotions, especially because emotionally you're moving towards your twin here. Okay. This person can say things about you sexually is what I'm feeling here. You know, if you're a man, this person, you know, may accuse you of being, um, you know, uh, gay or whatever the case may be. If, if that, you know, if you're straight and this person may be like, oh, if you don't want to, if let's say you're a man and this is a woman, this could be a woman saying, oh, if you don't want to be with me, you must be gay. Right. Um, you know, meanwhile, the person is straight, like just attacking their sexuality, the size of you know, their cooch, the size of their D, how bad they are in bed. Like this is a narcissist that's truly trying to tear someone down in every way, shape or form. Okay. And I feel like this narcissist is literally moving, they're losing their mind because this narcissist was addicted to the supply that you gave them. 
you were their main supply. And this person, what they're doing is like they're dope sick. They need that supply. They need to know that they could hurt you. They're codependent on you. Okay. And that's why this person is getting reckless. Be careful that this narcissistic person doesn't do something to your home. Okay. Um, break into your home or do something to your home or constantly show up at your home. Yeah. You, cause the, yeah, this, this narcissistic energy is really mad, like dangerously mad because you've transformed, you've changed so much and they have, they don't have that ability to abuse you or to, you know, hurt you or to get their fix. I mean, you want to picture like, a drug addict where they can't get drugs and how they lose your, their mind and go crazy. You know, that's what it feels like for this narcissistic energy guys. Okay. So please be advised that, you know, this narcissist may show up at your house. They may do something to your house. They may do something to your car there that, you know, this narcissistic person is going to try to do everything and push every button to get an emotional reaction out of you. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Take care, my love.